Today we have lesson 16 in Chinese. Subscribe! <laughs> Today the lesson is different parts of the house. And to say house is 房子. 房, this is a character for 房. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 房. That's the pinyin for Fangzi. Okay? So, first part of the house, you have the door. And that's the part you first walk in, right? This is the door, which is called Men. 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 And this is how look, it looks like a door, except it has a little bit of a dot. Okay? Second, besides the door, we have the window. And the window is chuang. This is how you write chuang. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Chuang. And pinyin for chuang is chi wu ang chuang. The first tone. Next, we have the washroom. So there are different ways to say the washroom. And this is just one of the ways, which is called Wei Sheng Jian. Wei Sheng means hygiene or to clean. And Jian is a way, one way to say the room. So the full washroom is Wei Sheng Jian. Okay, next we have the living room, which is 客厅, okay? This is a 客, and 厅, 客 means guest, right? Because normally we bring the guest to the living room to sit. And 厅 is a kind of room, normally the ones without doors, so more an open area. So you have 客厅, and beside the 客厅, normally we have the dining room, right? Which is also normally in the open area. So it also ends with ting. But the first character is means to eat or meal. So this is chan. So we say chan ting. Okay, so pay attention to this character. Chan is very complicated. But it can be broken up into the upper part and the lower part, which is this character part here, which means shi or to eat. Okay. Next one we have the bedroom. So bedroom is where you sleep, right? So normally you have a door to the bedroom, and to say a room with a door, normally we call it shi. Okay, so it's different from ting where it's more of an open. So the bedroom, look, this is called wo shi. And wo actually means to lie down, right? And then the character, if you look at this way, it almost looks like a bed and a person kind of lying down on top of the bed, except it's kind of sideways. But it's wo shi. And then we have the kitchen, right? Kitchen is where you do the cooking, right? So the first part of the character means to cook or chu. Or chu fang. Fang is another way to say a room, right? So together we have the room where you cook, which is chu fang. And lastly, we have the backyard. Okay, so the backyard is because it's in the back. So the first character is means back, which is ho, right? You have ho and qian, right? So this character means the back. Yuan which means more like the yard, right? So basically means ho yuan. So together means your backyard. And that is the lesson for today. Okay? And see you next time. Bye-bye.